Hello, welcome back to the 100 day project. We are on day 82 today and it is easy triple envelope pockets. I am Marnell from Mimi's Keepsakes and thank you for joining me today. Um, I am still following along with Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda. Uh, she has a hundred mass making sessions, so I am doing her sessions. None of these ideas are mine. They all come from Tina and I'm sometimes Tina saw them from somebody else. I'll have Tina's videos in the description box so you can go see how she decorated her things, how she made it sometimes. It's good to see a different perspective. So the triple pockets for today are made from an envelope base, as you can see in the back here. Uh, you'll have a pocket here on the top, a pocket here, and then also a small pocket on this side where you can tuck smaller things in. There's obviously variations on this, um, which we can discuss. So you'll just glue it down three ways there or this way and have a pocket here or either there it's you know variations a lot of them <laughs> we don't we're not going to go into that today but first i just want to quickly the other day i was talking about the hand sanitizer and i couldn't remember on whose channel i saw it and maybe this is an old idea i don't know but um i actually saw this on cheryl talifus her um channel and the funny thing is the day that we i was talking about this she actually used it again on her channel i just want to show you that to clean your table look at how fast it goes to clean up glue and stuff from your table and obviously your uh, glass mat and then if you have glue on your fingers like i do at the moment it's a matter of just wiping it off and that stickiness is gone it's awesome and to clean your scissors or your glue bottles just look at how dirty my scissors are and um, it just immediately cleans it off because i think of the alcohol maybe in the hand sanitizer and i do like this hand sanitizer i bought it on from walmart i'm not getting paid by walmart to say this but it's a cheap hand sanitizer and it definitely cleans everything fast and easy so thank you cheryl for that tip and if you want more amazing tips go to her channel i'll link her channel in my description box she has great tips and ideas so i'm gonna start with a long tall skinny um envelope i don't have anything that wasn't white in you know that regular size envelope that we usually get our junk mail from i haven't coffee dyed or tea dyed them so i decided to use this this almost has that color of um, the straw paper that rachel from roxy creations always use and it is a little bit bigger than the envelopes for junk mail but i'm going to use this today because then i don't have to cover everything with printed papers um, because i already have a background that i like tina did cover hers with printed papers if you want to go look at that so first thing you're going to do is simply glue your envelope shut where's that wipe with the hand sanitizer on glue your envelope shut and then on the front you're going to just fold it more or less i would say two-thirds of the way up and then just bring this flap down all the way to the bottom here of your envelope and then you're simply going to glue and it's as simple as that if you do want to cover this flap or the back, I would suggest doing it now before you glue the envelope shut. Um, I think maybe this one, I won't glue anything to it. So I'm just, the next step, what you'll do is just glue these pockets that you've created with your fold shut. So over there 
and this one here it's probably better to put the glue on this side and then to create the top pocket you're simply going to and i'm going to cut it off a little lower because my envelope is very big just going to um, open up that top piece of your envelope to create a pocket there and then your pocket is ready for decoration so let's do one more it's not it's very easy maybe this time we'll add some papers to it let's just first step is close your envelope and then fold it up to the front the back of your envelope will be here that's the front part and then just bring this flap over um all the way there so yes do we want to cover it with some scrap papers i have this Let's maybe do the back, this side of my paper with some scrap papers and I'm just going to fold it here so I know where to cut. And of course, if you have a nice colored envelope that you're happy with, you do not have to cover it at all which I think is ideal. It's less bulk in your journal, less work. If you just need to, can um, just maybe add some ink or a stencil, then that is just so much easier. Like I say, less work. I'm gonna glue it and then cut the excess off. It just works easier for me rather than trying to measure and not get the measurements correct so that will look like that and do i want to add and this needs to be this way then it would have been perfect um maybe i can just tear this and add a strip on here Okay, let's do that. And the rest we won't cover, but you can cover the whole thing with printed papers or if you want to. I just feel that is too much work. I do like the background of the, or the color of my envelope. So I'm not gonna go through all that trouble. Okay, and so the next step would be to glue these pockets that you've created here. Glue that shut. Okay. And then you'll open, oops, that's the wrong lid. Then you'll just open up the top part of your envelope and you have a triple pocket made from an envelope base. Okay, so obviously this still needs decoration. But you get the idea. So let's just fold one again and talk about variations now that we have a good idea of how to make this very easy envelope. It's always nice to just use an envelope as a base. You obviously can do this from scratch and not use an envelope as well. That is totally an option too. So all you're going to do is fold it two thirds of the way and then bring this flap over. So what you can do is if you decide, I do not want to, I want this part a secret writing a secret writing spot in here you can always just cut this piece of the envelope open and you'll still have a third pocket here but you can flip this open for writing space and um, then still glue that one down so that's another another option um, what else can we do yeah and then obviously gluing it to the page or various ways that we've talked about so many times 
Yes, I think that is the only other thing that I could think of. You can always add another piece of paper in here as well and glue it down there and there. And then you'll have a pocket here, 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 and there. But I find a lot of times, be careful when you start with one piece, have too many pockets. Remember, it still needs to be filled with uh, journaling cards and tags and all kinds of stuff, which makes it very bulky. Then you have one pocket that is very bulky and it takes up a lot of space in your journal. So just be aware of that. So let's mass make a couple. So first step would be to glue our envelope shut. Yes, how was all of your Mother's Days? I know I have asked before, but it was Mother's Day weekend here with us, for us in Canada, and I know in America, and I think Australia, definitely in South Africa. Um, but like I said yesterday, I'm not sure about Europe. I think they have a different day for Mother's Day. But... Yes, we had a wonderful weekend, nice warm, spent some quality time with the kids. They spoiled me rotten, so we're just making the folds now, which is always nice. Gave me some really nice gifts, and for me the best part is usually the, the card with the gift and the sent, you know, the message inside. Don't think my kids watch my movie, uh, my movies, my videos regularly. I know sometimes they do, but thank you if you're watching today for all the gifts and the breakfast and cleaning the kitchen and all of that. But I have to say my kids are pretty good with helping. They since they were little, they had to help clean the kitchen or vacuum or do chores at home. So. They're pretty used to doing that stuff. Um, do I want to add some printed papers on here? Let me see what I have lying around on the desk. I still have some of this. Okay, let's see. Um, well, maybe I'll do that last and just fiddle with, around with it. Let's just do the gluing for now because I'm not sure what I want to do with the printed papers. I'll use that to for decoration, maybe not cover the entire envelope. Okay, so now we're just doing the gluing. Okay, and this one. put enough glue on here I think okay I did more dyeing today and my nails are even worse than yesterday I'm so sorry I'll do something about it they're not dirty, they're just stained from the rust water that I use in the eco dyeing process. I did play around with some dandelions because the school is just opposite, on opposite from our house. So we, the kids and I went and picked up some dandelions on Friday, so I had some dandelions in a plastic container in my refrigerator until I used all of them because it was so warm here. 
I didn't want them to wilt and I knew I couldn't use all of the dandelions on one day. So <laughs> we had some dandelions in the refrigerator over the weekend. So let's decorate some of this. These we've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fast, I mean, really. The envelope is your base and then it's so easy to just keep I mean really half the work is done for you by the envelope honestly so let's use this I was thinking maybe if I glue this either on here or in the middle and then use some of the coffee dyed papers or that spot and I saw a piece of lace floating around here somewhere I'll see it I'll... there found it okay. let's do this maybe before I start I'm going to just use some vintage photo and just ink this up a little bit just to make it look a little aged okay and we'll do this one on the flap that over and not struggle with cutting that edge straight let's not make life difficult for ourselves and what did I do with the blue and like I said Tina covered hers in printed paper so maybe so look at what how she decorated these. I just because I like the back color of my envelope, I think it should be okay. I don't have to totally cover everything on the envelope. I have this piece of lace and I was thinking maybe if I add that on there, I'd still be able to put my tag in there, but it would just decorate this piece part of the whoops heat I keep forgetting that it's really warm in here I'm just gonna use my finger and let the fabric deck just it doesn't take long for it to heat up I suppose Okay, so that will dry and then it will be easy to put my tag or ticket or whatever I decide to put in there in there so let's decorate this part of the and pocket oh I do think probably should have inked this before I glued it down, we'll just get rid of that little bit of white there and even here. Okay, like that a little bit more. Um, let's see, I have some stamps here, but that's not the right color. That one's too small, but maybe we can just use it with something else. This one's bigger. Well, this one is not blue at all, but it has this 
I do like this stamp, Lafayette. Um, have some music paper here. This bow is way too big. I can just see it. I do. I don't know what this is. It's blue flowers, but not something that I want either. So shall we just go with that? I think it's enough. I don't think we need more. We can just maybe ink it up as well. Um, the only thing that I am thinking is maybe I'll do a ruffle there because the ruffles are still sitting here from the other day rather than just the flat yes let's do that it just gives a little bit of texture and I am let's see if I this is blueprint sketch. If I add a little bit of blue instead of brown on here. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and then this one we'll add on the blue label, we'll add some brown <laughs> and also on our stamp. Just a little bit on the edges. It's a bit more than I wanted, but it will work. Okay. There. So now we've used our ruffles as well. They've, they're still sitting here, so we might as well use them. I think that is enough for this one. Um, let's do one more. Let's see this thing here, this nice big shall we? Um, I was thinking about this maybe on here, but it's a bit big. Another ruffle that I saw. So let's see this one maybe. And I have this. Let's tear this up a little bit. So everything is not totally square. lace here oh you know what I forgot to cut these open remember if you want another pocket there to cut the top part of your envelope open just thinking I feel like I've missed something Let's do that. And just not sure. It kind of feels like it blends in too much. Shall we do this instead? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if I'm still on camera and let's find some. 
papers for the back, maybe. Maybe do this here and this on here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, once you have everything, the pockets glued down, it's definitely a little bit more tricky to add some printed papers to your pockets, but not impossible. Hmm. The heat is affecting everything. <laughs> The glue, the everybody at home, everybody might be entire family are complaining about the heat. I love the heat. I don't mind it at all because I am always cold. I'm just going to fold that over. Okay, this is just a piece of tea bag. We might add that or maybe not. I'm not sure yet what we're going to do here. Oh, I have some of the... Maybe I'll use a smaller little bow by the roses. And what else? I'm not sure. Maybe I need to tear this picture just a little bit okay and then I am thinking of adding some of the this is again it's prima and it's rich copper maybe just add that on the edge of my photo whoops that's a bit more so another thing that's been affected by the heat Okay, I uh, just decided to do this off camera a little bit because I was just struggling with that. I found this piece of paper that, oops, okay, tore that more than I wanted to, that um, in my scrap box, it kind of has that rosy pink color. And we're just going to add that. Like on here I'm thinking okay let's do that before I think too much about this again I forgot to do the top here And then I'm going to add glue in the back, on the back of this. Okay. Oh, I am, um, it is very hot, so the wax has not dried totally i'll have to leave it overnight and remember not to touch it but it is definitely difficult not to touch it at all okay so then i'm going to just add this on here a piece of tea bag I'm thinking I want to add 
some of the copper onto this little cutout from a book and this has black and white in there and I think that's why this works a little better for me than the other things that I had on there. I'll just well, the wax is definitely do not like the heat. And once it's dry, it's usually okay, but it's just oh, definitely need to clean my table when I'm done here. It's glue, ink, everything. Okay, and then I thought I'll do like a wax seal. And I have some, excuse me, some pink ones, maybe this one, or I had some copper ones in here, I thought. No, that one's red. Oh, maybe I used all the copper ones already because I remember I didn't make a lot of them. Those are all gold, so let's just go with this one, I think. Let's just not think about this anymore. And then maybe here, I feel like I need just a little something here. Um, Maybe just this little piece of lace here. I was actually thinking of something there, but we're gonna add the lace on here. Oh, and remember the glue fabric tag is very, very runny at this point in time. So anyway, yes. Oh, the 100 day 100 giveaway nominees. I have to. So the day 100 giveaway nominees are for today is Shannon and Lulu Fabrique. Thank you guys for all your wonderful comments. If you want to participate or be um, maybe part of this giveaway and you're new and you don't know what it's about, you need to comment on more than one video and subscribe be subscribed to the channel please comment on more than one video and then i will pick two people every day uh, or nominate them to be in the giveaway you can be in the giveaway more than once you don't have to just you know, if your name's already in there, don't think you're done because you can be in the giveaway more than once. And um, maybe that's just too much now. Anyway, the giveaway, your name can be in the draw more than once. You So the more you comment, the more the better your chances is to win. And what's the price? The price for the one, day 100 giveaway is an envelope filled with ephemera that I've made from day 51 all the way to the 100, day 100 when the 100 day project is done. And um, I will ship it anywhere. Uh, you do not have to just live in Canada or US or ship it anywhere. So keep the comments coming. It definitely helps my channel, obviously, but I also like to hear from you guys, find out what you're up to, especially, you know, I'm just here every day doing my day to day and it would be nice to know what your day to day is. Anyway, so this was my prototype. Uh, we made these one, oh, we could have decorated that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we made and we decorated these two together. So thank you for joining me today. If you have not, please subscribe to my channel, like and hit that notification button so you'll be notified when I put a video out again. And um, I do absolutely want to thank everybody for all their kind comments and all you guys out there that's been commenting almost every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, 
I will see you tomorrow with day 83 of the 100 day project. Today we made easy triple envelope pockets and just a quick recap. We have a pocket here, here, and then a small one here. Wonderful project to use all those envelopes that we collect in junk mail or from the thrift store. Thank you very much and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.